The Getaway Series is proudly sponsored by Crown Precision Arms. We had a great day today and what made it very special for me today was was the fact that that we hunted with Richard and you were guided by AJ my son on his very first ever professional hunt and I had a tear in my eye at some point it was it was really special for me I, AJ is is a really good hunter he's hunted most of his life and he did his guiding course in school and everything and and now he's he's hunting and he guided a client with me and just um, made me quite emotional it's an honor for me to have you as a friend to hunt with him what um, what happened this morning tell us about your hunt the whole trip was kind of like what we do back in the states uh, but today our plan was really specifically to um, find a, a low spot because we knew the weather was changing and uh, a spot where we knew the uh, animals would be bedded down. And we were going to uh, uh, just kind of walk through that area and see if we could find something bedded in certain, certain um, low-line tree areas and stuff like that. And, and as we were getting on our way to where we were going, uh, we, we uh, spotted some red hartebeest grazing. It was the first uh, sign we'd seen of animals uh, this morning, <laughs> and, and it was a, a very cold morning. But uh, as the weather was changing, we did have some red hartebeest grazing. So, uh, we developed the plan and we parked that truck and um, I think we we're about three or four hundred yards out from them and uh, and I just kind of got a little goosebumps when you said AJ I think you, you should guide this one because mm -hmm. you had told me it was his first time guiding as we were uh, approaching and, and uh, Larab, Larab and uh, AJ were uh, out in front um, the the cow and the calf were there and and, and uh, we had to get around them and then you know we had to wait for him to get in position but uh, he, he was just behind this bush just a little bit too much for a bit and then uh, we patiently uh, had him clear the bush and AJ felt like it was a good time to take a shot and I put the scope on him and yeah, I think, think we, we <laughs> dropped him right where he was standing. Good shot. You're gonna be damn good, boy. Awesome. Awesome. What a great job. Let's go and find your heart to beast. Let's do it. Good job. Congratulations. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Yes, sir. That's where I hit him before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Beautiful trophy. Beautiful. Can you look at how thick those horns are? That's a really thick one. Yeah. Your shooting this week has just been phenomenal. Aston astonishing. It's like. Yeah. As good as your guiding. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's, a, it's my pleasure to be able to share it with you, Father, Son. Thank you. Been, been doing this your whole life, and uh, now your son, the next generation, is, yes, sir. is uh, part of your operation, and it's just a pleasure to be the first client that you've uh, you. professionally guided. And you'll remember this for years I will, to come. I will, I will remember it the rest you. of my life, son. Yes, sir. Great job. Congratulations on a beautiful, beautiful animal. Thank you. Incredible shot, too. Next shot. Explain us how the hunt went for you. Well, when we spotted the uh, red hartebeest off in the bush, we pulled off to the side of the road. We were a few hundred yards out probably, yeah. 300, 400 yards, maybe five. So we had to uh, come back down the road, get the wind right, get a good stalk on them. We, we, we did an early setup, uh, maybe 150 yards or so, but all we had was the calf and the cow. So we, uh, we, we couldn't get a good line on the bull. So we went about uh, 20 or 30 yards to the left, still a little bit behind some brush, so we had to wait for him to come forward. He came forward just enough and uh, stuck his neck out there, started moving forward. I felt like I had a good shot on him, so I took the shot and um, I think I think we pretty much dropped right where we hit him at about 150 yeah, yeah. yards. So we as professional hunters, we just look at the bases and how thick the horns is to uh, identify if it's a male or female because the females have horns really similar, but just a little bit thinner. So you yeah. did a great job of uh, distinguishing which animal to take and uh, setting up and uh, putting me in a good position to help me take a good shot on that. Thank you, thank you for guiding me. Thank you. 
Were you glad that your dad was there on your first animal? Uh, I wouldn't say so, but yeah, just to have a backup there, make sure everything is good. Mm. It was good. And now you're on your own. Yeah. I'm you're good to own. go. <laughs> um, we'll, we'll send you with a tracker and a gun and a truck and... That's how I like it. Go and do it. <laughs> Congratulations, my boy. Thank you. you did a great job and Thank I'm very you. proud of you. Thank you, AJ. Thank you, sir. Yes, thank sir. You. And Richard, thank you for joining us today and, and creating a special week and a special memory for AJ. Oh, well, thank you for letting me be a part of it. Catch me howling at the moon.